This is another packing video. Today I received the Jujube BFF. This is the first generation and it's in drip drops. It's a gorgeous bag. My heart just breaks because I don't think that it's practical for my family. And so I'm not sure how long it's going to be here with us, but I figured while I have it, I might as well pack it and show you all what I was able to fit. I am a self-proclaimed overpacker, and I also have three in diapers. So I just want to show you what I was able to fit in here for my family. I think you might be pretty impressed. Okay, so right off the bat, I just want to show the bag to you. And as you can see, I cheated once again, and I have my fuel cell attached on the side right here to this D-ring. I'm going to remove that right now just so I can show you the bag and I'll show you what I was able to fit in the fuel cell later. I just kind of did that so I could fit more into the bag than I actually was able to. So I'm just going to remove this from here. Sorry, bear with me. Okay. And I'm just going to move it off to the side for right now. Like I said, we will get back to that later. I just want to show you the bag first. Um, this is the front of the bag. This is the side of the bag. And this is the back of the bag. As you can see, just because it was new and it was fun and I wasn't sure what option I wanted to play with, I left on both the backpack straps, which is really nice, as well as the messenger strap and for those of you who are unfamiliar with this bag you can carry it in three ways you can wear it as a backpack you can wear it as a messenger or there's a handle right here you could just pick it up and go <laughs> and then over here on this side there's another side view and then back to the front has all of the jujube little jewels and all the pretty hardware that they're famous for and it also has um, since it is the first generation bag it only has one zipper for the mommy pocket but that's okay it wasn't really that big of a deal I don't think it didn't make much of a difference in the packing of the bag itself okay so all my videos seem to be extremely long and I apologize so I'm just gonna get started right now for you in this very front pocket right here, the mommy pocket. Let me just give you a view of that. As you can see, when I was able to fit inside, this mommy pocket doesn't open very large like my other bags do, so it's kind of hard to give you the best view. I might flip this over. Okay. Um, on the key fob, my keys. naturally. In the sunglasses pouch right here, I have a pen, which I attach to this little loop, and I actually put a really small umbrella. It's a totes umbrella. It's so cute. And I thought that was a little better, seeing how it's been raining here like crazy. We just had another thunderstorm tonight, so I thought it was a little more appropriate than sunglasses. And... In here, I fit some sun hats. It is summer. If it was winter, I could probably fit some winter hats. Another sun hat. And a third sun hat. Never one to spare any pockets. I try to use them all up if I can. And here's a better view for you inside the mommy pocket. Beautiful lining. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Breaks my heart to have to give it up but I don't think it's practical for all the children that we have and then in this pouch right here you see the jujube with the little embellishment so pretty and here I really jam this pocket this is an insulated pocket really good for your electronics things that you really want to keep safe and waterproof and here I fit one cell phone 
two cell phones, one for me, one for my husband. Or if you're just that important and you happen to have two cell phones, then more power to you. Or an iPod maybe. And at the very bottom of this pocket, I actually fit my camera charger because I never leave home without it. Okay. Then we'll do the side pocket right here. So I'm just gonna rearrange these straps. A bit of a hassle. In this pocket, oh my goodness, I didn't put anything in here. Ah, oh, I don't even know what I did with it. Let me just glance around. I did have formula that I had wanted to put in there because my son has a munchkin formula dispenser. And I had planned to put it in there and obviously I didn't, I apologize. It would have fit very nicely in this pocket. It's a very deep pocket. I'm sorry about that. Not very prepared, I guess. On this side, I have the Inno Baby Stack and Smart with one tier of formula, one tier of oatmeal, another tier of formula, and another tier of oatmeal. And this is for my eight month old. Like I said, on the other side, I was gonna put my two year old's formula. And I have no idea where I put his formula stacker now. Oh boy. Okay, and then we'll flip the bag around and I will show you what's inside of the back pocket. Let me just move these straps around once again. Okay, so in this back pocket back here, like I said, I'm an overpacker, so I fit in the change pad, drip drops. Also, oh, my other change kit, which I've shown you all plenty of times, but in case this is your first time watching, in here I made it into a first aid kit. On this side, it's first aid items, band-aids, thermometer, toddler flossers, gas drops, little noses nose aspirator, Q-tips, fingernail clippers, Neosporin to go. And on this side, it's medications, children's Benadryl and children's Advil, two generic syringes to give the medication, and one Advil syringe. And it's also another changing pad. close this up and move it on over okay now back to the front of the bag see that handle is nifty it does come in pretty handy okay and now here is the main compartment of the bag it zips down both ways All the way down, all the way down. Has these nice sides, the envelope sides, nice light linings, tons of pockets in here. And I was able to fit more in here than I thought that I would. So here we have a book for my eight month old. Just because I noticed there was more room at the top and I wanted to fit something in there. I couldn't resist. This is a toy bag. I usually have one toy bag for each of my children. I decided to turn their wet bag into a toy bag for all three of them. So in here is just miscellaneous various toys for all three kids because I couldn't fit three toy bags in here. I had to decide what was the most important. Toys were the first to go. Then I have Dreamy Diamonds Quick. And in here, I can give you a little peek. In here, I rolled my clothes. I'm famous for doing that. Here's a shirt for my eight month old. A pair of shorts for my eight month old. Another shirt. For my two-year-old, I like to have a change of clothes for all the kids, just in case you don't want to be caught out in the world and 
they go through or have an accident or sit in something icky and you don't have any extra clothes for them. Here, we've had quite a few blowouts. A pair of shorts for my two-year-old, unfortunately. <laughs> and here's a shirt for my three-year-old. And another pair of shorts for my three-year-old. Well, the first pair of shorts for him. Just another pair in general. Okay, and that was in the Dreamy Diamonds Quick. And as you can see, the bag itself. Now you can start to see some of the pockets in here. Lots of fun pockets. Here in the drip drops. Quick. I'm going to show you what's in here. I'm trying to move faster because I've noticed my videos can be really long. In here I fit 12 diapers. Sizes 3, 5, and 6. I did 3 fives, 3 threes. Now I'm sorry, I did four fives, four threes, and four sixes. One, two, whew, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12 disposable diapers that are able to fit inside of this clip. Just gonna reorganize a little, sorry about that. And in here, gorgeous lining. I just can't get over it, it's so beautiful. There is a pocket right here, which I didn't utilize, which I, I'm not a fan of do. Oh, actually I did. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot. It's been a really long night. Bear with me. I did utilize it. I'm proud of myself. And here I fit my Vera Wang mommy bag. Kids are the most important, but mommy can be important sometimes too. And in here I have just various makeup items, lipstick, and a lip gloss, some hair ties, foundation, foundation brush, mascara, and a compact with a mirror, more foundation. And that was what was in this mommy bag. And that was in this pocket right here. Oh, I don't know how great of a view you have. Maybe I should readjust for you. Okay, that's a little better. Okay. And then in these pockets, which I'm going to show you, I utilize absolutely all of them, I guess. I'm very proud of myself. Okay. On this side pocket right here, I have some Copper Tone Water Babies SPF 70. Um, this is for my children's body. This is their body sunscreen. And that's all that I had in that pocket. In this pocket here, I have a notepad, just in case. Need to jot something down while you're out, the old-fashioned way. <laughs> And that's all that I had in there. Then in this back pocket back here, I have two pads for mommy. A small bag, which in here I was able to fit all of mommy and daddy's medications just in case. This is Advil, Midol, Tums, um, and Claritin. Just in case any emergencies pop up while we're out. And that's what I was able to fit in those two back pockets. Then on this side, it's a wipes case. So cute. Drip drops wipe case. 
and that's all that was in there. Then in this side pocket right here, I have some Neutrogena Pure and Free Baby Faces Ultra Gentle Cream. This is sun skin for my children's face. They have very sensitive skin. And the bottom pacifiers. Can never leave home without them. My children would not be happy with me if I did. And in this last pocket right here, hand sanitizer and my Jujube Be Thrifty and Drip Drops. Love this wallet. And here I have my ID and my BJ's cards, my Sam's Club, insurance cards, cash, change in the little change purse part. And that was able to fit in this very back compartment. I was surprised because it's kind of a thick wallet. And so just so we have a grand tally, just to tell you there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets inside of the main compartment in the BFF. Then just go around the bag really fast. There was this insulated pocket that I showed you. Then the mommy pocket right here. And this had the sunglass holder, a pocket right here, the key fob, another pocket here, a zipper pocket here. And then you have the 3M Thinsulate bottle pockets on the side. And of course, the back pocket, which usually I keep the change pad in. If you don't have babies, you can definitely fit other things in there like books, magazines, coloring books, whatever you need. And so this is what I was able to fit inside of my Jujube BFF for my three children under the age of three in diapers. I hope that this video was helpful to you. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please comment and let me know anything else that you'd like to see me do and I'll gladly do it. Okay, thank you. Have a nice night.